night. Back on McGraw Live in the morning. Uh, guys, this has to be an inspirational song for any boxers. We have two fantastic young athletes in this city. Uh, Josh Temple and Julius Butler, both Olympians, soon to be Olympians. We'll talk to them uh, in just a second. But uh, our pal Peter Vaccaro is here. Good morning. Good to, morning, everybody. How are you, sir? I'm fine, sir. I, always good to see you. Always good to see you. And first of all, your relationship with amateur boxing in St. Louis, I was not aware of until I just found out that you have been inducted into the St. Louis yes, Boxing I, yes, Hall Yes, I have been. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> and I, and I know Very you, proud of that. You've better. done announcing. People know yes. you from TV. And yet your passion play is amateur boxing in this local community. Talk it's, a little it's, bit about it's that. It's boxing in general. But what I'm here this morning to say is that there is so much good amateur boxing happening in the city of St. Louis and such a tremendous system we have going from uh, kids getting involved in satellite gym operations operated by a number of outstanding coaches here in town. Um, Buddy Shaw comes to mind. Buddy Shaw is a tremendous boxer right now. Stefan, the showstopper young, who's going on to national fame and probably a national title coming up. Uh, Jimmy Howell, there are many names that come to mind that have taught and taken their time and trained amateur boxers from the age of eight all the way up to various divisions from junior to novice to all the way to senior. Now these gentlemen came from these rankings. Both Joshua and Julius came from the rankings of working with trainers here in the city of St. Louis. You know, Tony Lewis, I believe, last night I saw him in the news, and he said something about, I think there was a, 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 a baseball field recently dedicated to him. And not speaking on behalf of myself, but he said there's nothing better than working with kids. So I say that, and I take my hats off to all the trainers and all the coaches that dedicate their time to this. So what I'm here for this morning is to say, Amateur boxing is alive and well here in the city of St. Louis, and we should continue to support it. As a matter of fact, I must say this, that in many cases, that amateur boxing can be better than professional boxing. Here, here. I, I, I saw that fight uh, a couple <laughs> weeks ago, and I, and I do that. Uh, Peter, we thank you, and guys like Kenny Lair, right? I mean, yeah, I, precisely. I mean, the, the, we, the St. Louis has had such a rich tradition of boxing heritage, and uh, from the Spinks brothers uh, to... Uh, Ken, Kenny uh, Lohr, actually. Kenny Lohr, yeah. and, and to, to uh, uh, you know, John Tate. I mean, the, the St. Louis has a, a very rich history, Devin Alexander, and we have two guys here that are making that heritage even Precisely. richer and i want to introduce two very special guests first of all josh temple uh yeah. welcome to the program how you doing this morning good Out, morning outstanding sir and julius butler what's up what's up uh hey uh guys first of all congratulations on becoming united states olympians in the sport of boxing here, here. that you. is Absolutely. a tremendous accomplishment Thank uh first I, I want to start with with julius how did you get into boxing how did you become a boxer uh long story short uh basically used to get bullied a lot you know i wanted to learn how to fight so i got in the ring and i fell in love and it's been you know great ever since josh what about you uh for me boxing started off uh my father's been a boxing coach since his younger days i have older brothers and cousins that came through boxing and uh it was just following my father to the gym every day and being around my father and then uh boxing developed to grow on me i started boxing at the age of six and my mom didn't want me to box that young, so she pulled me right out after my first fight. And then I came back like at the age. Of, <laughs> <laughs> I came back at the age of ten and started my boxing career. Uh, so you get into amateur boxing. How do you get to be? You are now the reigning 2014 United States Boxing National Champion. How do you get into that? And how does the process uh, get to be uh, eligible to be? on the United States Olympic team? Uh, it all starts at home in the gym uh, with your coaches, working hard, training hard on the road, and uh, just a lot of time and dedication and consistent hard work, and you can make it anywhere. Is your mom still, is she good at all your matches? <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> asked me to knock out all the kids, but then uh, she doesn't want me getting knocked out, so I asked her how you think the other mother feels, so. <laughs> <laughs> Julius, um, you know, you got into it to stop bullying. I guess that that's <laughs> worked out for you. Oh, but yeah. uh, t tell me a little bit about who your boxing heroes were if you were growing up. Who inspired you, whether it's somebody famous or somebody we don't know who your yeah, boxing I heroes I mean, the first boxing match I ever saw was Corey Spinks against Zab Judah. And uh, I remember watching Corey Spinks and just, you know, how good his defense was, you know. And I was just like, 
I want to be like him. I don't want to get hit. You know what I mean? Uh, so I would say Corey Spinks was like the first boxer that I ever looked up to. What's it yeah. going to mean for you guys to compete in the Olympics? It's awesome. I can't <laughs> wait to have my whole country on my back to represent St. Louis, my country. It'd yeah. be an awesome feeling. Josh is the light heavyweight representative for no. the United States. Heavyweight. Heavyweight representative. Yeah. Julius, you're the light heavyweight. Exactly. Uh, the heavyweight division, uh, Josh, uh, recently it has not gotten the same kind of fanfare as some of the yeah. lighter divisions. Are you hoping to maybe not only carry the That's mantle for St. Louis, but to bring the heavyweight sort of title fight? I mean, the, the, the biggest fights in the history of boxing have always been the heavyweights. Yeah. To bring that, that back. I look forward to the opportunity. I mean, it's a great opportunity to to be able to be the heavyweight champion. Everyone's looking for the next great American heavyweight champion. We have two great uh, Russian champions as of right now, but I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready to take the spot. We absolutely do, and we got two great representatives from St. Louis. It's, it's amazing. Julius Butler, light heavyweight, yes, and Josh Temple, heavyweight. We're going to be seeing you guys a lot. I got to ask we'll another question. Have either one of you broken your nose or anything? I mean, <laughs> nope. major, no and, broken nose ever. No cuts, broken nose, <laughs> Kelly, these, these boys are a little pretty, aren't they? I mean, I mean, <laughs> they look I mean, too they, pretty. They, yeah, I'm telling any. you. They, they know how to defend themselves. <laughs> right. And, and, and gentlemen and uh, Peter, everybody, yes, this event that's coming up, uh, the tap on May the 9th, 2015, the rumble at the tap. We're going to take ourselves a break. We'll have you back meep, meep. another time. Right. got to go to traffic. Tim Weiland at the St. Louis Closet. Thank you so very much.